Hello my fellow Frosties and Mages alike. With the sharp announcement of 9.1, I figured it would be useful to bring out a video looking at what to expect going into 9.1 as a mage. I'll be looking at predicted meta specs, covenants and legendaries, so buckle up. Disclaimer before I start, all of this is speculation, educated guesses and predictions, so please don't take any of this as set in stone and make sure you take it all with a pinch of salt. A lot of the information I talk about in this video is taken from Dutch and Toe Grinder statements from the All to Time Mage Discord. I will link both word documents of their thoughts and predictions in the description below. I would really really recommend you have a read of them. If you would like up to date sims for each spec, please also check out Toe Grinder's Mage Sims also linked below. Ok let's start things off talking about nerfs going into 9.1. Fire has taken a hefty nerf this patch. The nerf to kindling means combust is on a slightly longer cooldown. The 1 minute combust isn't the be all and end all especially as fire doesn't have other cooldowns which need to be lined up with combust. However the nerf likely causes fire mages to roughly lose out on one combust over a fight. Alongside this, Fire's main potency conduit, Infernal Cascade, also took a small nerf. A nerf to combustion damage will always be bad, however the nerf doesn't hit too hard because Infernal Cascade is one of the few conduits in the game that scales with item level. In 9.1 it will gain more with the 4 new conduit levels than other specs in the game. Overall it's around a 10% nerf to single target. Fire was a decent spec in Castle Nathria, however a decent spec losing 10% is quite substantial. Combust is still good and fire still has searing touch, so unless fights will require a burst on an around 65 second cycle or an execute, it's not looking like fire is the play. From current looks of the fights in Sanctum of Domination, it's certainly not looking likely. So what is the predicted meta? As it stands right now, the predictions are that meta will favour Arcane and or Frost depending on the fight. Arcane and Frost have very different damage profiles and pros and cons. Arcane has high burst. It's also not an uptime spec like Frost or Kindling Fire. However, it is punished if the burst window is interrupted, such as being given a mechanic to deal with. It's also potentially difficult to optimise on progress. Frost on the other hand has good stacked cleave, good funnel, and sustained and consistent DPS. However, it is punished heavily by downtime because of the uptime needed on icy veins for icy propulsion. Now let's go into a little more detail. While Arcane was mostly unplayed in Castle Nathria, it was a lot better than people gave it credit for. Quoting Toe Grinder directly here, Arcane tends to get ignored when fire is good because the two specs have fairly similar damage profiles, except fire has better mobility, cheat death and execute. So with the nerfs to fire, Arcane is taking over fire's niche of high burst DPS. As for Frost, all three mage specs have been very close on damage, however with the nerfs to fire, fire will be behind the others. Frost has decent single target while also having strong cleave and funnel. For those that are new here and may not know what funneling is, funnel damage basically means that the more targets you have around a priority target mob, the more damage you do single target to that mob. If there's lots of adds around a boss, you will gain a lot of damage to pile into the boss because of the resets on orbs and additional ice lance procs that you gain. As always, it will come down to the encounters individually when deciding what spec to play. In every raid tier, burst DPS is more favoured over sustained DPS and 9.1 is no exception, so Arcane would be favoured in this situation. This leaves Frost's real remaining advantage of having sustained cleave DPS. On a lot of SOD's earlier fights, Frost's cleave is predicted to be the big winner. Frost is also looking to pull ahead on KT. Ultimately, it will come down to the final boss, which is Lady Sylvanas Windrunner herself. This fight has a lot of forced downtime which will hurt Frost a loss because of Icy Propulsion's interaction with Icy Veins and lack of uptime. Due to this, it is predicted that Arcane will pull ahead on this fight. So now that we have a better understanding of the predictions and the whys, let's get on to how to prepare for 9.1. The safest bet would be to go into the tier either Kyrian or Venthyr. It's predicted that Kyrian Arcane will see the highest percentage of play on Sylvanas, however it's also a bit of a wild card. Frost on the other hand will remain Venthyr. It is recommended that if you are multi-specking you play Venthyr. This is because Arcane can play Venthyr without giving up too much power, and Frost loses more from Kyrian than Arcane loses from Venthyr. So just to reiterate, if you want to multi-spec or main Frost, Venthyr is your covenant of choice. If you want to maximise Arcane all the way, then Kyrian is probably the way to go. If you're still a fan of Fire and would like to play it in 9.1, then you would still play Night Vey. 
None of the new legendaries for Mage in 9.1 are any good, so each spec will play the same legendaries as they played in 9.0.5, shown here. The noteworthy thing going into 9.1 is that if you are playing Frost, Freezing Winds was previously crafted in the head slot, however going into 9.1, new domination sockets are introduced. For Cloth, these slots will be in the chest, helmet, shoulders, bracer and belt slots. Because of this, it's likely that you may need to change your Freezing Wind Legendary from the head slot to gloves. Be prepared and make sure to clear Torghast every week for the Soul Ash in case you need to swap. While I'm not the best person to comment on the Mythic Plus meta, I have seen the top teams remove Fire Mage in, in favour of Ellie Shaman and or Frost Mages. While Arcane hasn't been given much time with all the top mages playing Fire last tier, it could also be now given a chance to shine if the top raiders are maining Arcane. I personally believe that Frost looks incredibly strong going into the next patch. I'm not biased, I promise. Its large consistent AoE is very valuable. Plus, it's a ton of fun, which is what we mainly value, right? Right? I hope you found this video useful. As I said at the start, this is all largely speculation at this point. I'm looking forward to seeing where the meta takes us next patch. Are you looking forward to 9.1? Which fight in the Sanctum of Domination are you most interested in? Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments. Once again, I would like to thank Toe Grinder and Dutch for their humongous brains. <laughs> Don't forget to check their work, all linked in the description below. Until next time, bye bye